I am very pleased to be here for my Kev Warner. This is a very critical time for us. I've worked with Mike since he came to Congress in 1999. He's been on the committee that I now chair and of which I was the ranking Democrat. And I have no more valuable ally, no one who better understands the complexity of the issues substantively, the politics of trying to get them enacted into law, and the broader political context in which we operate. We operate at a dual political level, one influencing your colleagues to trying to keep up the support you need in the, uh, in the country. Uh, Mike has been superb at that. In addition, he brings a special quality to this campaign because it's for the United States Senate. He has a demonstrated record of challenging the established order. Um, I will have to say um, there was one of my favorite theatrical productions, maybe my only one, is uh, the musical Fiorello about Fiorello LaGuardia. And at the end of the first act, when he wins unexpectedly, and the political bosses uh, who put him up come to him, he said, uh, I want you to remember that my primary qualification for this office is my monumental ingratitude. <laughs> oh, that doesn't apply to Michael, but another I word does. It is. <laughs> what Michael has is a sustained, principled irreverence. And I cannot think of anything the United States Senate needs more at this time than someone who is committed to doing the right thing on health care, who is committed to getting the financial package through that he and I have been working on to restore sensible regulations to the United States, who will fight for climate change, who will fight for an appropriate set of budgetary priorities so we spend less in unnecessary weapons and more on important needs. There are a lot of people in the Senate who are for that agenda. There are unfortunately not very many who have any real understanding of how to get it enacted. Now, we have lost the greatest senator in United States history in Ted Kennedy without any question. And no one going to the Senate on day one or on day 500 will have the authority and influence of Ted Kennedy amassed over the years. But that loss of Ted Kennedy makes it all the more important that our senator hit the ground not just running, but running and kicking and screaming and pushing <laughs> and fighting and insisting that action be taken. And Mike Capilano is an extraordinary combination of principle and a willingness to fight. His political sophistication is very high, and it's in, put in the service of a dedication to making this a fairer and better and safer country. So as someone who has worked with him for 10 years and has been the beneficiary of his great talents, and who knows him very well, I am glad to endorse him. There are obviously other people in the Commonwealth who would make perfectly good senators. But I think at this time we have an opportunity to get someone who will be better than perfectly good and who will bring to this job of the United States Senate precisely what we need at this time.